In this video, I'm going to help you calculate or understand how to calculate the initial velocity, final velocity, initial momentum, final momentum using the kinetics equations that we prove. All right, so for the rock, which is five kilogram, and for the tennis ball, which is 0 0.05 kilogram. All right, so they both dropped two meters above the ground, okay? So, uh, let's see, uh, let's find initial velocity. In the tennis ball is velocity initial is zero and velocity final is 6.3. Now I'm dropping the rock is velocity initial is zero and velocity final is also 6.3. Initial velocity of the rock is zero and the initial velocity of the tennis ball is also zero. Now let's see final velocity. B final is equal to V initial plus 18 and B final is equal to V initial plus 18. Now this one is zero. When you drop something, it is zero. Uh, the only reason moon doesn't fall because the moon initial velocity is not zero. Okay, uh, A is 9.8 and time it takes 0.64 seconds. So velocity final is 6.3 meter per second for the rock and velocity final is 6.3 for the tennis ball. So they take they hit the ground exactly with the same velocity. So Galileo was right and Aristotle was wrong. I'm dropping tennis ball on the glass. Its initial momentum is zero. Its final momentum is 0.315 kilogram meter per second. This time I'm dropping the rock on the glass. Its initial momentum is zero and final momentum is 31.5 kilogram meter per second. Momentum initial for the rock is zero and momentum initial for the tennis ball is also zero now we're going to find the momentum final for the rock mv and momentum final for the tennis ball all right momentum final momentum final so momentum final for the rock is five times 31 uh, th um i don't know 6.3 6.3 so 31.5 kilogram meter per second and momentum final for this is 0 0.05 times velocity final is exactly the same 6.3 so now two decimal place so i'm gonna bring it two decimal place to the left so 5 kilogram meter per second all right so another understanding is that the velocity it is not equal to momentum all right so you understood three things from the theory and three things from the experiment number one heavy object a light object fall and touch the ground exactly same time in this case it took 0.64 second galilee was right and aristotle was wrong number second you understood that the velocity is not equal to momentum and number three you learn that the momentum is equal to newton's second law or newton's second law is equal to momentum subscribe to bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming